we're going to talk about the minor pomegranate I didn't say law, I told you rules. This is some random thing. Okay, so the minor pomegranate rule says if you have a situation in which uh, the body cycles. at a level S1. So that means the stress is S1. So I am uh, alternating stress sigma A equal to S1 for N1 cycles. Sigma at S2 for N2 cycles then the amount of damage to the part is given by N1 over capital N1 plus N2 over capital N2 plus like that. That is the damage. So, this is actual that is how many cycles it actually ran at that stress level. This is life. So, think of it this way, um, there are uh, you know uh, the idea is suppose you can last example sigma 1 level at sigma 1 level it lasts 10,000 cycles, sigma 2 level it lasts 5,000 cycles. Okay? So, if you run it continuously at sigma 1 it is going to last 10,000 cycles, if you run it continuously at sigma 2 it is going to last 10,000 cycles. What you did was at sigma 1 you ran 3000 cycles and at sigma 2 you ran 7000 cycles sorry not 7000 4000 cycles individually it is not going to break right but how about because of the joint load so our idea is we are going to compute the damage damage will be 3000 divided by 10000 plus 4000 divided by 5000. If this damage is more than 1, fail. If it is less than 1, safe. So, in our particular case, you can see it will be more than 1, the thing will fail. That is the idea. Okay? So, this is what we are going to do. So, let us compute what is the damage. So, so that is our next calculation, which is our load calculation. So, what we are going to do is we are going to figure out what is going on with this thing. So, step 2 load calculation. So, let us count. Okay? So, I am going to color these things differently depending upon how many cycles are there. So, uh, let us see. There you go. Okay, I'm going to do line. I'm going to say okay. That's one cycle. So, oops, I'm. It's looking pretty bad, so I'm going to do something else. Um, I'm going to go back up here and let us see. Ah, there you go. I have my picture. So I'm going to. This picture we're going to keep it in the side for our later calculations. So, here is our actual picture. So, bear with me a little bit while I adjust all this stuff. Okay. So, let us count. So, I am going to I am going to put different colors for different things. So, that is cycle number 1, 2, 4, 5, 
seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. So at ten KSI, it is thirteen cycles. Then now let us look at a different color. We are going to look at twenty KSI. Cycle number one at twenty KSI. Cycle number two at twenty KSI. Cycle number three at twenty KSI. Cycle number four at twenty KSI. So twenty KSI four cycles. Then let's change the color again. Let's pick a different color. Let's see yellow color. Okay. So now this is 25 ksi. One. That's not 25. That's 30 ksi. So I'm not going to count that yet. That's another 25 ksi cycle. Okay. So you got two cycles. 25 ksi. Sorry for the color, but I want to make sure that the colors are the same. So two cycles. We will actually do that in a nicer way. And then the last one is our danger, very high stress, and that is one cycle. At 30 ksi. So 30 ksi. One cycle. Well, we are done. We have now broken up the whole thing. It says in 30 seconds, it runs 13 cycles at 10 ksi. Four cycles at 20 ksi, two cycles at 25 ksi, one cycle at 30 ksi. Very good. So now, let us be done with this one. I'm going to get rid of this. I'd rather move it to the side and make it small. I don't really need it right now. Oops, all this crap is here, right? So let's get rid of all of this. That's nice. You can see the different colors, right? Those are the cycles. Okay. So we counted the cycles. So first thing we do is we do cycle counting. And I'm going to redo this list. So nominal stress. Actual cycles. So, 10 ksi. By the way, 1 ksi. So let us write it down. 1 ksi is 7.89 MPa. Sorry, 6.89 MPa. So I'm going to make sure I convert everything into MPa. So this is equal to ten times six point eight nine. This is equal to twenty times this is equal to twenty five times six point eight nine. This is equal to thirty times six point eight nine. Actual ones. So just to make sure, I'm going to put an insert uh, home. So nominal from graph. Actual is times KF. So if you compute KF for all of this, it turns out to be 1.37. So this will turn out to be that times 1.37. That's equal to this times 1.37. This is equal to this times 1.37 equal to this times 1.37. Okay.